Hello D Nation and welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be unboxing the Royal Enfield Meteor 350, the stellar red variant, which is a 112 scale diecast motorcycle manufactured by Maestro. And I'm going to be showing you the features and the specifications of this amazing diecast motorcycle replica. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, before we begin, I want to let you know that this 112 scale licensed Meteor 350 Stella comes in three color variants which we will get to in a bit. And before we get to the good stuff, let's take a look at the boxing as always. So as you can see, this Meteor 350 Stella red variant comes in an elegant window type box which matches the color of the respective model which is a good touch when it comes to the presentation. And to begin with, the Royal Enfield logo is bang in the middle and on the top as well. And on this side you could see the scale which is a 112 scale followed by the Meteor 350 which is the model and finally the color which is the stellar red variant. And on this bottom corner is the Maestro branding with a few other details. And flipping over you will find the signature Meteor 350 logo along with the website details. And on the other side, you will find a bit of interesting information regarding the Royal Enfield Meteor along with the Royal Enfield logo. So kindly pause if you want to take a read. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Well, to begin with, this Meteor Stella 350 comes in three color variants, which is the red variant which we just unboxed, as well as the blue and the black variant, which I have made exclusive videos of which I'll drop the links in the description below. So go check it out and let me know what you think. So my first thoughts about this diecast replica is that it has quite a good and sturdy build and made of diecast for the most part with a few components made of ABS plastic and looks just as good as its real life counterpart. So this model comes with a black chassis, a steerable front fork with a well sculpted headlight, a pair of turn signals, chromed rear view mirrors, black hand grips with chrome clutch and brake levers, a good looking front fender that wraps around a fully blacked out set of wheels and tyre, chrome disc brakes and moving on to the midsection. I like the shape of this fuel tank that is painted in the Stella Red with the Royal Enfield logo on both sides which is in silver. And moving down lies a beautiful and well sculpted two-tone black and chrome 350cc engine with a chrome exhaust with the rest of the components blacked out. The side cases are branded with the Meteor 350 logo on both sides with the signature white red and silver that are prominent. And talking about the seat, it's an all blacked out double seat which comes with the backrest which is a standard for the Stella models. And talking about the rear wheel setup, it is just the same as the front and comes with a bit of suspension unlike the front which is rigid. Well this model comes with free rolling wheels and a sidekick stand in case you want to display it. And this replica measures in at 7 inches in length, 4 inches in height, 2 inches in width and weighs in approximately at about 130 grams. And if I were to nitpick something about this motorcycle, I'm a bit confused about the color of this model because it's supposed to be a Stella Red, but for some odd reason it looks more like a maroon to me, which is not a big deal. But please do let me know what you think in regards in the comments below. But overall, this is yet another beautiful Meteor 350 Stella replica and a definite must have for any diecast motorcycle hobbyist or collector, especially if you are a Royal Enfield enthusiast. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features, specifications and the best buy links for this Royal Enfield Meteor Stella 350 diecast replica in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's place this amazing and well detailed Royal Enfield Meteor on the D-Nation Dyno and check out its wheel spin and its functionality.
Well, the functionality seems to be perfect and just as beautiful as the highly detailed exteriors. And this Meteor Stella Diecast variant gets a massive thumbs up from me for its looks as well as its functionality. So with that being said, let's place this amazing Royal Enfield replica on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this diecast beauty in a 360 degree view and stay tuned for some fun facts on the Royal Enfield Meteor coming up. The new and improvised Meteor 350 serves as a replacement to the Thunderbird and the Thunderbird X lines of motorcycles. The Royal Enfield Meteor 350 is available in three different versions which is the Fireball, the Stella and the Supernova with the Stella being the mid-range model which is priced approximately at about 1.84 lakhs. The Royal Enfield Meteor represents the eternal essence of riding, the spirit of the cruise with classic counters and timeless design cues. It is an easy thoroughbred cruiser ready for the open highway and for meeting the challenges of urban commute with equal ease. At the heart of the Meteor is the all-new air-cooled 349cc SOHC engine with a characteristic long stroke and electronic fuel injection system providing smooth trackable power and plenty of bottom end torque. Continuing the legend of the easy singles, the new engine throbs with a visceral beat that is distinctively Royal Enfield. With an enhanced chassis setup, accessible riding position, advanced braking ability, high specification suspension and responsive power delivery, the Meteor is set to light up the world of cruising. And for further information on the Royal Enfield Meteor 350, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this amazing Royal Enfield Meteor replica, I dropped the Best Buy links in the description as well. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts about this amazing Royal Enfield Meteor diecast replica. Well, I couldn't help but notice that most of D Nation's viewers have not subscribed to our channel. So I kindly request you to support our channel by subscribing if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. And a like and a comment would be much appreciated as well. And this brings us to the end of this Royal Enfield Meteor Diecast episode. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.